¿Y mi papá? Se fue para el otro lado, mijo. ¿Cuál otro lado? Lejos de aquí. Pero no te preocupes, mijo, él va a estar muy bien. Venga. ¡Prisciliano! ¡Papá! ¡Prisciliano! Human migration is the movement by people from one place to another with the intention of setting temporarily or permanently in the new location. The movement is typically over long distance and from one country to another. But internal migration is also possible. When you migrate, you also emigrate and immigrate. Emigrate is when you leave your country of origin and you go and stay in a new country permanently. And immigration is when you are arriving to this new country. Migration is a mundial phenomenon and it is present in all the history and in every part of the planet. The migration has increased because of the development of the media and industrial revolution. of migration. The first one is temporary migration, that is when the migrant stays in a place for a short of the time and then back home. Permanent migration is when the migrant is going to stay permanent in his place of destiny. Forced migration is when the migrant leaves his residence against his will or a situation that threats his life. Voluntary migration is when the migrant leaves his residence place by his own will looking for a better quality of life. Intermigration is when the destiny is inside of the country, and international migration is when the destiny place is, at in, is in a different country. Migration causes. Always look for a better place to live because, as Pierre George says, the more inevitable source of inequality among men is the better place, and migration tries to overcome this inequality. The main causes of the migration are political causes as war and birth, cultural causes as a religion, idiom, traditions and customs, socioeconomic causes as economic crisis, unemployment, and familiar causes. In our country, there are a lot of types of migration. In Mexico, as a child migration because of their parents are in the USA or because they want a better economic status in addition to a better lifestyle. During the period 1993 to 1997, an annual average of approximately 464,000 temporary migrants crossed the border into the United States of work. In 2003, 69% of Mexicans in the United States belonged to the economically active population, of which 62% were occupied. Some ideas we made to stop the immigration of Mexico. 1. Improve public services. 2. Create more jobs. 3. Improve the education. 4. Create more enterprises inside the country instead of bringing international enterprises. 5. Increase the minimum salary. and 6. Reforce the security in the country.